USF Diamondbacks baseball is months away from first pitch, but there are some very exciting developments in the work for the program. USF Baseball hosts its annual alumni weekend September 18th through 21st. The facilities conclude Monday, September 21st, with the Dante Benedetti Golf Classic at TPC San Francisco Bay in Stonebrae. Funds raised during this event will also be used to construct a new hitting facility at Benedetti Diamond. Groundbreaking will occur in the third week of September. We are joined right now by head coach Neo Giratano, who prepares for his 12th season on the Hilltop. And, Coach, there's always something special about a reunion, but your program has seemingly elevated your alumni weekends to a different level. What makes this event such a success for you each and every year? Ryan, I think the, the event itself, the alumni game, just the excitement and the players are what makes it so special. But leading up to that, it, it's everything the players have done in their relationships with the people that are there. It's the school work they put in. It's the body of work they put in as baseball players. And everything they've done up to that point from a positive standpoint is what makes the alumni weekend so special. And then it's just an opportunity for them to come back, enjoy each other, enjoy being back on the hilltop at USF, enjoy some of those those memories of, of either winning or, or struggling or, or things that happened that, that made them laugh. So it's it's the players themselves that make it special. The Dante Benedetti Golf Classic has been the crown jewel of the alumni weekend for the past couple of seasons, but this year it takes on an additional significance. What does it mean to you and your program that the proceeds from this event will go towards something which will pay instant dividends for your program? Well, I think, you know, anytime you, you get together with people and, and you can share, whether it's golf or whether it's the alumni game, uh, no matter what it is, I think it's special. But, but this time we're getting to the point now that, that these events are starting to, to be useful uh, for future years and, and in building the hitting facility itself. Uh, we're going to raise a great portion of money uh, through the golf tournament to help fund the final process uh, of the batting facility indoors. And uh, I can't think of a more proud moment than, than our hard work starting uh, to really go to use. The indoor hitting facility will probably be the most radical improvement to Benedetti Diamond since the installation of the Dick Dow's dugout Dutch Anderson press box project. There have been some remarkable improvements at your home field in the last 10 years. How proud are you? How proud are you of what you've accomplished? Uh, extremely proud. You know, it's the players and the success that they've had in the classroom, outside, on the practice field, in postseason, in the conference, and people are really starting to to want to give. You know, I think uh, a special thank goes out to the Meyer family uh, who gave the lead gift. Uh, to start the project, special thanks goes out to the University of San Francisco for matching the funds of all the money that we raised. So, you know, the facility probably going to be about $550,000 to build it. Uh, we've had some great improvements in the facility, the new infield a couple years ago, the netting project, the outfield fence, uh, the douse dugout, the press box. We've had great opportunities to just continue to get better and better each and every year. But this will be our most significant uh, opportunity because this will allow us to work out during the day and not miss class time. This will allow us to not miss a practice opportunity. It will give us a chance to take competitive batting practice when before all we could do is hit the batting cages. So this is going to allow us to, to hopefully prepare a little bit better and get off to a better start. And what, what does this indoor hitting facility mean to not only your team, but perhaps the community surrounding Don's baseball? Yeah, I think first and foremost, the, the community surrounding Don's baseball, uh, the Junior Don program, our camps, all the people that, that, all our professional baseball players that come back and are looking for a facility that, that's dry, that's warm, that's usable, that's uh, something that's safe. And I think we've been able to answer all those questions in the facility. But I think more importantly is it gives us a little credibility in, in college baseball where we're starting to, to put together a facility where we can show people we can work year-round no matter what the weather is like in San Francisco in February or January, any times like that. So uh, it, it means a whole lot to us to continue to make these strides uh, to have a Division One facility and, and hopefully someday uh, – have, have a ballpark that, that we can host two or 3,000 people in. 
Although many improvements have been made in the last few seasons, plenty of work still remains. What is your vision for the next steps at Benedetti Diamond? Well, I have a lot of visions for Benedetti Diamond, but I think once we get the hitting facility in place, uh, we want to put a pitching center right behind there, it puts some astro turf, give them an opportunity to, to have an area where, where they can really do their work. I want to take the dugout and the press box that we built, and I want to I want to sink the dugout about 15 feet forward, put a rail in there, put seats that go around uh, the dugout and have that facility. I want to put field turf on the infield at least or possibly the entire field so that we have drainage. I obviously, one of these days, want to fix that first base dugout. So hopefully we can enlarge it, we can sink it, and we can keep people from, uh, from banging their heads on that thing. For more information on the Dante Benedetti Foundation or the DBC Golf Classic, contact, contact the Dante Benedetti Foundation at dbf at pacbell.net. That's dbf at pacbell.net. And for all the latest on USF athletics and Don's baseball, log on to usfdons.com. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.